Hello, friend. Welcome. This will be an exciting moment. We'll add multi-peer connectivity to our Swift UI project. We'll use Connect4 as um, our first try to put the multi-peer connectivity and the Swift UI. Let's get started. So let's see where we are here. Yeah, we are inside our Connect4 Swift UI dash iOS. Now let's see. Yeah, we can open Connect4, Connect4 dot our project file. So if we run it, we can see our lovely Connect4 game. Now we'll add multi peer connectivity, right? Functionality to this app. So it can be playable between um the two devices within a short distance okay so remember we need to we need to adopt three protocols right so who is the guy to be the delegate of the three protocols our view model this guy right so first of all we need to extend the ns object like that we need the the default features of this guy okay now let's use three extensions to extend the three protocols for oh we need to import multi-peer connectivity multi-peer connectivity this guy then go to extend we did this the similar thing in our non sweet ui projects there are some um difference in sweet ui project okay so you'll see extend okay so connect for view model this guy extend the first the most important thing is session delegate right mc session delegate this guy wait for a few seconds for the auto complete yeah fixed nice we have we have five required functions to implement we'll keep most of them empty because we don't need them but we'll add the meat for some of them okay now next one extension oh extension connect for view model extend what is the next one nearby nearby mc nearby service advertiser delegate right and wait for a few seconds to get the auto complete out fix oh there's a single function required here and uh, we are at the code shortly the last one for multi-peer connectivity connect for uh, view model the last one is the browser view controller delegate mc browser view controller delegate yeah so there will be two functions here to dismiss to dismiss the pop-up window right so um this is easy so we can put our code here um browser dot dismiss yeah animated yes condition we don't need that so when when we finished inviting right we can dismiss the pop-up window so same thing when it's cancelled we'll We'll get rid of the pop-up window here, so dismiss. True. 
animate it and we don't need to do anything in that block okay so now after we have we write promise to adopt to conform to the three delegates we now it's time to create uh, three variables here first one is peer id right and we don't need that the data type is mc peer id um, like that so we guaranteed it won't be nil when we use it otherwise it will crash what if we don't put it here i think it's yeah it's not initialized that's initialized yeah i think we we should use it oh yeah uh create we need to create an initializer right to init that we pid equals mc pid display name okay what is this name is the ui device dot current right oh no current dot name this will be this guy iphone 12 yeah okay what's next one the next one is our session right this is the communication channel session mc session yeah same idea we needed to initialize that so session when we create at the moment when we create our view model right we we are created the, those two properties equals mc session we'll use this one PID yeah it's that PID security identity we don't need it so put a nil here encryption preferences dot required yeah and another one is another one is our nearby service advertiser advertiser okay so that data type is MC nearby service advertiser this guy okay now let's use the good name here nearby service advertiser um we will create this one later okay now let's try to run the, the app to make sure everything is still working okay cool now we need to put this in action right oh let's put this one here implement the the function here so it will we'll do in call this one call this function this parameter with the two parameters true yeah this one boolean it means we'll accept the accept the invitation from the peer so session session is our session this one so eventually we'll use this did receive data to receive the data from the peer and now we want to add two buttons right one for send out the advertisement and the other one is to invite the advertisement sender here we'll go to the view and we already have a button like that right let's add another two buttons copy paste paste of course it, this one will be adver advertise so of course the function will be we haven't <laughs> created this yet advertise but, and this one will be invite invite 
like that. Uh, now let's go back to implement the two functions. Uh, let's put it here. Function um, advertise like that, and then function uh, invite. You'll see how they work. Okay, now run it. We can see that right the two buttons, even though it's empty, and here resume should put the two buttons there nice okay so let's make it a little bit smaller or even smaller like that so how do we implement advertise and we'll create um this guy here so nearby service that equals mc nearby service advertiser peer is our peer id discovery information no we don't need that service type very important is our yeah a short um string okay connect for something like that okay now with that oh another thing very important is here after we create a session we need to set the delegate equal to self now it will complain yeah self used before super dot init call so we'll call super dot init before it to make the compiler happy yeah now after the super dot init our self is ready so we can assign a self to the session delegate okay now here we need to set delegate for this guy delegate to ourselves like that and then we can send out no start advertising peer okay now on the other side the peer will pop up the uh, browser view controller okay how can we do that so um, we'll create a browser right let browser browser equals mc browser view controller this guy service type and the session service type gt it has to be the, the same string right so the peers can find this service session is our session this guy now we need to set up the same thing right dedicate to ourselves that's because we right we promise to provide uh this the service of this protocol browser control controller delegate so with that so those two functions will be called back will be called back um, by the platform at the proper moment okay now we need to present this one here is the big difference from the previous implementation of our multi-peer connectivity for non-swift ui project there our view controller is a subclass of the view controller but now there's no view controller so we cannot do present present here there's nothing because ns object doesn't have a present function that one present function is 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 part of the view controller so how can we find our view controller to present this view controller to pop up that here is our luckily we have something like that application dot shared dot windows dot first dot root view controller 
because when we have a something on the screen, right? There's always a view controller uh, at the at the root. Otherwise, we cannot see anything on the screen. Yeah. So this guy, we can use this guy to present. Present our view controller, the browser. Sorry, it's not browser. Is browser. Let's try it again. Browser. Yeah, animated. Yes, true. Okay, completion. Uh, can we remove that? We don't need that. Does it compile? Command B. Oh, this guy. Browser. Command B. Yeah. It compiles. So let's test it. Okay. And uh, we need another. We need another simulator, right? So let's try to load this one first. Okay, great. Now stop it and switch you to a different brow uh, simulator. Simulator. So let's use iPhone 8. Okay. So on the left is our iPhone 12. And on the right is our iPhone 8. Now let's launch this Connect 4. Okay. So advertise and try to invite. Okay, we can see iPhone 12 select, connect it, right? Done. Cool. Now let's try the other. What is that? Yeah, don't worry about that. It's something else. It might be like this one, try to connect to the other nearby devices. Now this time let's try. Okay, we let's stop it. And uh, that let's switch. Okay, before that let's print out something here so it, we can see the the state right. Print. For example, our peer ID. Uh, state. Let's check the state change, okay? So hopefully we can see something here. Now let's um, switch to this one and run it. Well, it's our app here, connect four. So this time we'll send advertise from this device, right? The right one, the iPhone 8. So advertise. Now let's go here to invite. So hopefully we can see iPhone 8, right? In the list. Yes, it's there. Select, connect. Oh, it's already connected. Yeah, short read. Okay, done. Now well, is our state yes you see state oh um <laughs> don't worry about that so we maybe yeah this um this one is the description of this the state is like that actually yeah, it should be like connected or connecting something like that. Basically, it will be like that. Switch state, right? Like for example, dot connecting. Yeah, connected something like that. So we can print out. State, so it's connecting something like that and uh, 
connecting dot connected right so this way we can we can get the better description this one is what not connected not connected okay not connected now let's try it again oh there's another a warning okay let's fix that yeah this won't happen so don't worry about that and uh, print um, peer ID state unknown okay something like that we can put the message there state oh Um, no. Um, no. Sorry. Um, no. Okay. Now let's load those two things. First one here, and then stop it, and switch to the other one to load the latest code. Right. So it's eight. iPhone eight. now let's bring up this guy advertise invite we can see the the other guy right okay cool you see connecting connected nice right so that's it for this video thank you for watching see you next time